If you hate algorithms and you hate that you have to go through this process to be able to get a job as a software engineer, as a web developer, you need to watch this video. Believe it or not, you're not the only one that has difficulties with these type of interviews. There's people that have up to 10 years in the game and still have to go through those type of interviews and still be like, man, I struggled through that interview. So you're not the only one that has to go through this. But understand this, why do companies go in and emphasize on algorithms? Now, when you go in and you're hiring at scale, a company like Google, a company like Apple, Netflix, right? Meta, uh, Amazon, so on and so on and so on, right? Those companies are hiring hundreds, if not sometimes thousands of developers at a time. Now, the most efficient way for them is actually going in and having these type of interviews because imagine this i mean what's better an interview process that might take an hour to two hours long or do we go in and start giving every single candidate a project that might take a day or two and maybe take another day or two for somebody to go through their code and the way how they actually built the application you get it for them it makes more sense doing it this way so as you can see algorithm questions on an interview are actually not bad the problem is when you go and you actually do those type of interviews at small agencies and also to mid-level companies it just doesn't make make sense all you are really doing is letting a lot of good developers slip through the cracks because they don't put time into learning those skills because they're actually building things which is what most of these companies should care about so yeah you can't pass the interview now what do you do do you just give up and say hey i'm not gonna be a developer hey it's impossible to get a job hey the industry's saturated and you just start punching the air and being mad because you can't get a job now i'm gonna learn cybersecurity because they not giving me algorithm questions <laughs> like no you don't do that i like to code i like to build things i like to be creative let me go into the companies and the type of jobs that don't do these type of interviews. Now, you're still gonna get paid very well, okay? Maybe you're not gonna get stock options and this, this, and that, and that's fine, because you could still get to those jobs later on when you decide to go in and put in six months out of your life into learning about algorithms and you know practicing, et cetera. Like maybe right now you just wanna get in. Maybe right now you just wanna get your first job, okay? So right now I'm gonna go in and tell you guys what are the best ways that you could get into the industry without having to go through algorithm questions? And what makes some of these jobs really cool? And before we begin, I have to let you guys know about this. Guys, if you wanna go in and learn some of the skills that we are about to cover in some of these type of jobs, you want to come and check out codingphase.com. So this is my platform. This is where I go in and I teach people all of the skills that they need to get into the tech industry. My job is very simple. My job is to get you a job, teach you the right skills that's going to make it easy for you to get in. Again, you could come in, check out the curriculum, check out everything that we have on codingphase.com. You could see some real results. You could really see a lot of people have came through and have gotten jobs, again, from coming from boot camps, from learning online on YouTube, on Udemy, and all of these different platforms that they haven't found success with. And then they come to Coding Phase and everything just clicks. So if you want to get that too, come check out Coding Phase. It don't take nothing more to just go in and click on the link in the description. So let's start with the first job, Shopify development. Okay, Shopify development, it's the process of basically building websites within the Shopify platform. It's pretty much front end development. That's it. It's very simple, very straightforward. It's a CMS system. They have everything already there for you to start selling products. And some of the biggest brands use Shopify. I mean, imagine this. Someone asks you where you work at, and you're able to say, well, I work for some of the biggest brands in the world. Steve Madden, uh, MyFitFoods, right? Which is actually hiring right now. And if we look at the job right here, they're paying 80 to $100,000. And if we look at this section here, right, they're very honest with it. Proficiency with HTML, CSS, junior to mid-level experience in JavaScript. Very straightforward, knowledge of Klaviyo, Shopify. And the really cool part about this is that in e-commerce, 
most companies are not doing algorithm questions. They're focusing on what you have built. What can you produce for them? And that's what we're here for. We're here to build. We're not here to answer riddles. We're not here to remember how to reverse a binary. Like, no, I just want to build. And I want to get paid for the work that I do. And I want to enjoy seeing people use my applications. That's what we're here for, right? So jobs like this can get you in. A lot of you guys have a lot of experience, but you're going to the wrong jobs. Let's say you are a complete beginner. All you can do is just pretty much go in and use HTML, CSS. Guess what? If you know how to use the CMS system, you can get a job in some of these companies as a content manager, web administrator, managing the website itself, which is a great way for you to get into the industry and start getting paid while you're still learning and you're seeing everything within. You're working with the front end guys, you're working with the back end guys, you're working with the marketing design team, you're in the mix, but you're managing the website. So again, it's a great opportunity. I mean, imagine working for, you know, Warner Music Group, okay? One of the biggest labels. Maybe working for a company like Universal Music Group. Maybe working on the Taylor Swift website. Guess what? This website's built with good old WordPress, okay? Yes, <laughs> WordPress. Somebody has to manage these type of websites. Someone has to go in and put the new tour dates. I mean, these are cool jobs that you could be working at, but you just not paying attention to it. Maybe you are a developer's developer, okay? You are that guy that loves to build full stack applications, you know, WordPress is beneath you, email development is beneath you, content management is beneath you, I wanna code. You're that guy, guess what? This is the one that you need to be paying attention to, Laravel, all right? Laravel is the number one framework in the world, okay? No questions asked, no disputes about it. It's the number one framework in the world when it comes to building full stack applications. It provides you with everything, okay? This is why a lot of companies like the New York Times, Fridgebook, Lemon Squeezy, OpenAI, Apple, Webflow, Zillow, so many companies, Asana, Dropbox, Square, like Harvard University. <laughs> So many different companies and institutions use Laravel because it's the best framework that just provides everything for you. Okay. Now, what's really cool about this Laravel jobs that you could see out here is a lot of these jobs pay really well. Okay. You have a lot of good opportunities where you can come in and say, well, my first job as a junior developer was an 80, $90,000 job. That's not bad. That's really good. And some of these companies do give stock options if that's what you care about, but you're actually building really cool applications. All right. And on top of that, I'll be honest, most of those companies, they're not doing algorithm questions when it comes to Laravel because Laravel is like a community thing, right? Where people care more about how invested you are in the community and the framework then hey can you go in and solve this riddle like if i'm hiring somebody that's a laravel developer i want to see how he thinks i want to see is he up to date with the things that's happening in the community what does he like more does he like an inertia with react or Vue.js? maybe does he like alpine js right so there's so many different things that come with getting a job as a Laravel developer, that it's so much better and the experience is so much better to get hired than you going in and trying to go for some of these companies that do algorithm questions, right? For the interviews. So again, if you're trying to avoid that and what you care about is getting into the industry, these are the type of jobs that you want to focus on. I mean, I kind of didn't go over email development that much. And I know sometimes that goes over people's head, but email development, it's the process of you creating emails that are built with HTML tables and then setting up all of the automations for you to go in and send out a campaign to the right customer so they could purchase products or sign up for services every single company that you could think of 
literally runs email campaigns. I mean, right now you sign up for Netflix, they're running an email campaign. Right now you sign up for, I don't know, the new Drake uh, tour dates. Guess what? They're running an email campaign. Right now you go to BBC Ice Cream from Pharrell. Guess what? They're running email campaigns. Somebody has to run that. In those type of interviews, what they care about is what you can produce instead of Hey, what riddle can you solve? So when you are going through hell and you're going through all of these interviews and you're wondering to yourself, man, what do I do? Do I give up? No, what you do is you pivot. You go in and you make your life easy. Because right now, guess what? The economy is not that great. Right now, some people don't got a job. Some people are, you know, getting paid very low at a company and they're like, hey, I want to switch careers. So what you care about is getting in and getting paid and starting a new career in tech or maybe come back to tech and get a job finally after you got laid off. So make your life easy just because you know React or you know Next.js or you know whatever other framework that's out there, whatever Teletubby framework that's out there, right? Just because you know those things doesn't mean that you can't go in and pivot into other positions because at the end of the day, you are a software engineer, you're a web developer, you're not a React developer or whatever React or Next.js developer, whatever it's out there that you want to do, right? You could do that shit in your own time. You've worked before. You understand when you work at a company, you're doing a job, you're providing a service, the cool stuff you get to build it in your house at your own time, right? That's the best applications that you're ever going to build because it's yours. But when you're trying to get paid and you want to get in into a job, you got to go in and make your life easy, not make your life difficult. All right, guys. So it's your boy, Joe, back at it again, codingphase.com. I hope you guys like this video. Please leave a comment. Please show me some love in the comment section. Give it a like, share this video, pass it on to the peoples out there. Okay. Yes, there's hope. All right. And again, if you're out here looking for a job, definitely check out entryleveljobs.ai and also to check out this video that I have right here, because everything that I cover on this video right here it's exactly what you're going to need to be able to go in and get hired this year. If you don't cover all of the things that I covered in here and check it off your list, yeah, you ain't getting a job this year, okay? So go check it out.